All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. I've got another PSA return for you guys today. This was a 20-card submission. Some higher-value stuff. And I got to say, I looked at the grades ahead of time, and I'm not super stoked about this. So to anybody thinking about grading MetaZoo Tops Chrome cards, I highly recommend that you really do a pre-grade as best you possibly can. Look over those cards as closely as you can. I typically do. I look at the centering. I look for whitening. I look for any visible surface damage. And I did that for this submission and another submission that I've got coming back this week, um, which I'll be showing you guys soon. But MetaZoo Tops Chrome is really, really, it just seems like PSA is not a fan because they've been very harsh with my MetaZoo Tops Chrome. There's a lot of that in here. There's some other MetaZoo cards too. But this 89 card submission that I just had, I looked at the grades on those because they came back today. And of the 89 cards that I sent, they were mostly Topps Chrome. And the only cards that got a 10 were the non Topps Chrome cards. The only ones. And there were only a couple in there that were not Topps Chrome. And those were the only cards that they gave a 10 to. Every single Topps Chrome card, probably at least 75 of them in that submission, got a 9 or lower. I think the lowest I've gotten is like a seven. But uh, I would just very highly urge you guys to be cautious. I'm not really sure what these are. We'll have to check. But when submitting Tops Chrome, you're going to lose your value pretty quickly if you don't pre-grade as best you can. And again, I thought I did on most of them. Now, some of the higher value stuff, like some of the gold serialized cards... I submitted regardless of what they really looked like and even some of the greens too because I just wanted to grade them because they're serialized and I was going to grade them regardless of, of what condition they were in. I tried to look at them, especially the ones that I bought. I tried to look at the listings for like any obvious centering issues. So it looks like, oh, this is the other thing that kind of annoyed me. Apparently PSA is not grading any of the MetaZoo NFT cards, which... It's very annoying to me. So maybe there's only 15 cards here to review because this is five of the... And we had a serialized one to go. I'm, pr I'm probably going to list most of this submission on eBay, to be honest, because I'm kind of disappointed with the grades. And I'll probably put this one to go up, too, because I mostly collect graded cards. And I don't really want those in my binder anyway, so a little disappointed about that. But definitely don't get your hopes up grading MetaZoo Tops Chrome. See... This is what I'm talking about. Now, the centering, it's not horrible, but maybe a little bit off from top to bottom. I don't see any visible surface damage, but this is a gold refractor frogman. For some reason, it got an eight. I don't see any print lines. I don't see any major issues with the corners. Yeah, from top to bottom on the back, maybe a little bit worse, but this is number 43 out of 50. But again, it's just like, seemed like a perfectly good card, seemed perfectly gradable. I thought worst case scenario, I'd get a nine. For some reason, it got an eight. If you guys can tell me why, there's a little, maybe a little whitening there. If you guys can tell me why, let me know. But it definitely sucks. So we got a cryptid cam frogman here. This is number 12 out of 50. Another eight. And on this one, I just don't even know, man. It looks like there's... I don't know if that's just the case pressing up against the surface there. It looks like it's the case pressing up against it. But I mean, the centering's fine. The corners are fine. Centering's actually pretty good. I'm not sure what this is up here, but... Again, numbered out of 50... This one gets an eight. Very disappointing. I don't even remember. I think there might be one 10 in here. I can't remember which one got a 10. I think there was one. This one is probably just an x fractor, I guess. Oh, no. the uh, This is from Topps Cryptid Nation Series Zero. So this is not Topps Chrome. I graded this just because I wanted to have this card in a 10. And I thought it would grade easier because there was no foil on it. And I thought... There's nothing wrong with it. I thought the centering looked fine. But it gets a 9. It's just a regular. Nothing really rare about it. Again, just kind of disappointing. So here's a numbered out of 99. 
Looks like there's a hair inside the case. Or a scratch. Looks like maybe a scratch. So out of 99, another eight. Really, really don't understand it. Again, from top, <clears throat> from top to bottom, the top looks a little thick compared to the bottom. But really, I just don't get it, man. I really don't. Like, what, what is keeping this from being a nine? I don't real I don't see anything on the surface of these cards. Like I said, I tried to pre-grade these as best I could, but I I don't see any issues with the surface or anything that would make these drop down to an eight. And this one gets a nine. And this is number 31 out of 99. I can definitely see on the back that the centering the centering on this one I feel like is worse than all the others, and it got the highest grade so far from top to bottom. That top looks pretty thin compared to the bottom. I don't think the back matters as much as the front. And the front, to me, looks fine. But, okay. That one gets a 9. Here's number 95 out of 99. That one also gets a 9. Here's number 46 out of 99. That one gets a nine, so I'll probably at least keep one of each nine. All right, here's something something good. Okay, this is a Mothman. So this is going to be a good part of my Mothman collection, because as you guys know, I just bought the one of one Super Fractor Mothman. This is number 50 out of 50. I think this is a pretty desirable card. It's a Cryptid Cam Mothman. The only number 50. And unfortunately, it received an 8, which I was very disappointed by. Again, I mean, the centering doesn't look that bad. I don't see why this couldn't be a 9. I was definitely kind of pissed off when I saw this grade. It looks totally fine to me, to be honest with you guys, but whatever. It's an 8. All right, so we've got a regular MetaZoo card. Let's see if this one gets the 10. This is a non-Tops Chrome. Oh, yeah, they screwed me on these, too. I forgot about this. So these, every single one of these, and I guess maybe they have a print line or whatever. Every single one of these, this is the Dimac Loveland Frogman promo. I don't have this card in a 10 yet. So I bought a bunch of them raw. They were all sealed, fresh from the sealed promo pack put straight into a card saver, and sent the PSA. I didn't get a single 10 on any of these. So that one gets a 9. That one gets an 8. I definitely feel like PSA has started grading a little bit harsher than they used to. That one gets an 8. I mean, I, I think I just saw the print line on there. That one gets a 9. Not seeing a print line on there. Centering looks fine, but they gave it a 9 for whatever reason. Another 9. And again, at first glance, I'm not seeing a print line. I guess I see a little whitening on the corner there. All right, this one. Mm, this one really ticked me off. I'm, I'm going to put this on eBay because I'm not happy about this. I paid like $350 for this card, just raw. And I was hoping for, I, I thought it's going to be hard to get a 10 because there's so much foil on this card. But I was hoping for at least a 9. I mean, it got a 7, which is just like, now let's, let's take a close look at this here. Ooh, I think I see the issue and maybe I missed that. Is that a print line or is that a scratch? Right there. Might be a scratch right there on the foil. Let me. No, it's a print line. It's just a print line. So I see one print line on this card. I thought it was a scratch, which then would explain it, but it's a print line. It goes right through it. 
I don't see any other print lines. I don't see any scratches on the surface. Maybe that corner there. I don't remember that being there, honestly. Looks like there's a scuff on the corner. I don't remember that. But it got a seven. Centering looks totally fine to me for what it's worth. I guess that corner might do it, but I do not remember that looking like that when I sent it in. Whatever, though. I wasn't expecting a 10 on this card because there's so much foil, but I was pretty disappointed with a 7. That kind of ticked me off because this was probably the most... Well, the Mothman no, numbered out of 50 might have been more expensive, but this was probably... Um, let's take a thumbnail here. Is that a good thumb? But this one really ticked me off when I saw that grade. All right, what's the last grade? Okay, there we go. At least we got a 10, so I'll keep that one. <laughs> the when to go from native, the <laughs> the only card to get a 10. One of the non-Tops Chrome cards. And you guys are going to see, man, this 89 card submission. Make sure you subscribe for that because it's going to be way more brutal than this. I was looking at the grades and I had to stop because I was getting so irritated at so many, not just nines, but so many seven and eights, I just did not understand it and I was getting irritated. Let me know in the comments below, what's your guys' experience with grading Topps Chrome? It's been really infuriating me lately. I haven't had a good submission really yet. Um, and I thought for the most part, I did a pretty good job with uh, reviewing them. Let's see. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm annoyed by it. Would that be the thumbnail? All right. Let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe. Nick Strength and Pokemon signing out.